Hey everyone, in this video I want to show off the Variant Utility node. This is a little tool that helps you prepare the Copy to Points node for distributing different models on your points. And you can control that in a couple different ways. Let me show you how to set it up and then how to use it. The setup is super easy, basically the same as a normal Copy to Points setup. On one side we have our points, on the other side we have our geometry. In this case, I have 15 packed geos for the different models that we want to scatter on here. Um, then I'm going to drop down the variant utility node. I'm going to connect the geometry on one side. I'm going to connect the target points on the other side. And then in this node, I can press create copy to points node. And this automatically creates this node for us and sets up the variant for us. So yeah, and then if you select this, you will already see that the models are distributed onto these points. Now, by default, this is set to random, and so it just randomly, based on the random seed, uh, distributes our models onto the points. We can also set it to do so by a noise, and so as you can see, um, this noise now controls how these models are distributed. This is just your familiar noise uh, parameters. Uh, you can also use this ramp to um, change the distribution and kind of like remap the distribution. Uh, but then you can also use a custom attribute um, to do this. And that will give you more control. Let's drop down attribute adjust float. Uh, let's call this distrib. So it's under the attribute name, select distrib. And nothing happens quite yet because it's just set to zero. But if I change this, you can see that this constant value, which is the same for all points, modifies what model is copied onto the points. So let's change this to noise. If we change this to noise, we basically have the same setup that the variant utility does if we have it to set, uh, set to noise in here. And so we can modify the values in here, we can um, change the offset, that kind of stuff, change the element size, pretty cool. Nice thing is, um, if we use the attribute value, we can do much more advanced setups. So for example, in this case, instead of using noise, we could use radial. It's now distributed based off like a radial gradient. You could also change it to bounding box. Now it's doing so based on like one of the axes. You can change that too, or even change the bound. The cool thing with this is that you can also layer things. So you could add an you know, duplicate this node, change it to noise, and since it's adding the, the values on top of each other, uh, you can now see that you can basically kind of like distort the, the distribution. Let's just do uh, middle and range. Kind of goes more natural. Here you go. And so that just gives you a lot more flexibility. One last note is that by default, the very utility expects uh, packed primitives coming in on the left stream over here. But if they're not packed, you can actually also just use uh, a piece attribute. Uh, in this case, it defaults to name, which we already have set up. But you could also make your own using the, for example, the connectivity SOP or a path attribute or something that comes in. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this is useful to you.